So here I'm using the first application. I'm drawing my grid from the eggplant grid. I'm making those one inch marks and then I'm going to connect them by lining up that ruler and making sure they're perfectly straight. Once that's done, I'm going into each box and I'm going to draw my eggplant according to each box that I am pointing to. Making sure to get all the details, the outlines, the shadows, the highlights. This second one is called the transfer method. I am applying pencil to the back of the paper and then once you have put pencil on the back, you can start flipping it onto your canvas and tracing on that paper so that it transfers to the canvas. making sure you get those highlights and shadows. Here we are going to use our color swatches and I'm trying to match the color swatch so it looks like it's like a blue violet um, and then so once I have that figured out I'm going to go in with this background color and I'm going to use a glaze so I'm going to do a watered down version of my yellow and I'm going to apply that on the whole background. Once it's semi dry I'm going to start applying that blue violet as my base color you don't want to do any details. You don't want to even think about highlights or shadows or any type of detail. You really just want to put that base color down that you see for each part of the fruit that you've chosen. You're going to be doing multiple layers, so putting down this base layer is super important and really just laying down the colors that you initially see on your printed out photo is the best way to go about the first layer. So I noticed that the bottom of the eggplant is like a yellow tint to it, so I'm going to lay down a watered down version of that blue purple and eventually start laying yellow down on that and using that glaze technique. But before I go into that, I'm using the base color yellow green to put on the top of the eggplant. And my background has dried, so it's, this is a great opportunity to start going in with that second coat. Now yellow is really light, so keeping that in mind, I will have to do multiple coats with this just to get the lines to disappear. And now I'm ready to go in with that highlight color. I noticed that on the picture there's like a glow of a red violet. So I ended up putting red violet to start off with. And then I'm starting to put a little bit of those, those shadows that are happening on the top of the eggplant with that darker yellow green. So I added a little bit of black to create that darker yellow green. And then this is a great part where I start doing that wet on wet technique we talked about to really make sure that I'm blending all of these colors that are happening in the center of the eggplant. So you can see that I'm going pretty quickly to make sure that they're still wet and I'm able to blend them together. I'm just going to keep applying that paint over and over until I feel like I've gotten a good solution with that portion. Now you can see I'm adding that yellow tint that's happening at the bottom of the eggplant. And I keep going between my red violet and my yellow to give that little hint of yellow at the bottom. And then I'm even going with yellow at the top of the eggplant that has like the reflection from the background. And now I'm starting that bottom portion, which is the shadow, like the cast shadow. And notice I'm not putting pure black down either. It's a shade of yellow because the background is yellow and the eggplant is on the yellow. Therefore, it's not pure black. So we had to make it just a darker yellow. Now I'm going in with small details since I feel like the majority of my base layer is looking pretty good. I'm just going in with more base with that yellow that's happening on the eggplant. You can see I've added more detail. I'm going back in with that background layer. I really want that those lines to disappear in that background. So I needed a bunch of coats for that to happen. And there you have it, a mini painting of an eggplant.